Greetings, everyone, and welcome to another edition of the Arlington Weekly News. I'm Craig Nolan. Thanks for joining us. And I'm Pia Samre. I'm so glad you're here. We're Rich glad you're here. We're glad you're here. Tim Rich is here. Yes. We're glad you're here as well. Thank you. Thanks for joining us. Uh, pretty good show tonight. A special treat for you. This is our Christmas in July show. We have news and community bulletin board items, news for seniors, Rich's reviews, and what would our Christmas in July show be without a visit from Mrs. Claus. Stay coming up. She's eagerly waiting over there in the stage right. So uh, we'll get to all that shortly. But uh, first, we would like to present to you the news as soon as they get it up on the prompter. First of our news items, well, we hear that police in Arlington will be paying special attention to anyone who's not paying attention to what they're doing when they're behind the wheel of a moving vehicle, driving. A new Virginia law kicked in on July 1st which prohibits such things as sending text messages, email, and the like while driving. Can you imagine? Well, anyway, that's in addition to other things like eating, putting on nail polish, reading while driving, and a host of other things that we've seen people doing behind the wheel. The law will be enforced as a secondary offense, and it'll still cost the driver 20 bucks the first time and bump up to 50 bucks for a second offense. So... Multitaskers behind the wheel, beware. Pia. What about like talking on the cell phone? Oh, that's deleted. Sure, right? that's number one. And well, then, anyway. Next story. <laughs> the uh, county board has approved more than $3 million for neighborhood improvement projects. The neighborhood conservation program is driven by neighborhood associations to help create safer, more beautiful, and better functioning neighborhoods. The approved projects are located in the Arlington Ridge, Aurora, Highlines, Barcroft, Sherrydale, Columbia Heights, Dominion Hills, Leeway, Old Dominion, Fort Myer neighborhoods. For more details, visit the county website at www.arlingtonva.us. Craig. Also in our news items, the county board has approved plans to turn the former museum building in Roslyn into a cultural center to showcase the arts and encourage redevelopment. The county will be able to use the space rent-free for more than 15 years, and that's estimated to save between 14 and 15 million dollars for the county. County officials say that operating costs will be covered by cultural service programs the new center at 1101 Wilson Boulevard is expected to open in the fall of 2010. The center will have two performing arts spaces, an exhibit gallery, a ballroom, a restaurant, retail space, and should be open seven days a week, 12 hours a day. Sounds like a good deal. It does yeah. sound like a yeah. good deal. You're right. The museum, back yeah. in action. Yeah, okay. I like that. The county board has adopted a resolution to control a length of Columbia Pike currently owned and maintained by Virginia Department of Transportation. If the Commonwealth Transportation Board agrees to their quest, Arlington would control the pike from Fairfax County Line to South Joy Street and be responsible for $180,000 in operating and maintenance costs. The county already maintains the traffic signals, green areas, and bus stops, and pays for most improvements. Don't expect anything to happen anytime soon. Negotiations are expected to take a while. 